all right in this tutorial we'll learn the very basics of azure architecture that is like virtual machines which provides the compute power let's go to virtual machines or we can also search here virtual machine we can uh, write it since i have used it it's showing up in the recent part as well so here again we can also uh, dive into it so let's click here now there are two ways of creating it one can create by clicking here or again here so let's click here azure virtual machine first option let's select it next we need to select the subscription let's leave as is we'll select one resource group where uh, our resources will reside uh, next is the virtual machine name let's type it cloud guru amit vm then is the region where we want our virtual machine to reside and then is the ibility uh, zones option as well so we'll uh, keep as is uh, now there is an option for uh, selecting the ability zone as per our uh, wish we can uh, mention or put as per our convenience so these are like the data centers where we want the vms we can also click on multiple so it will create a multiple two uh, you can see it's mentioned two virtual machines will be created within names shown above since i have given the name cloud guru amit vm so it's automatically took one and two right so let's remove one we'll keep create one because just this is just a simple demo uh next is the image this is also a star mark if you look star mark means uh, mandatory things so this is the our uh, software built or the operating system i can see so let's select one of them like 2019 windows server uh, data center let's uh, go down architecture we leave at as is let's uh, select the uh, size let's click on see all sizes so we'll be uh, using the like the the general purpose this one there are there are many uh, sizes by the way so we'll be selecting just the uh, basics because uh, the more uh, we'll select uh, the more will end up paying it which we don't want because it is just a basic tutorial let's select uh, b2s standard <coughs> next uh, let's go down we need one username and password let's give the username amit then one long password so looks uh, good next we need to select inbound uh, ports this is a uh, mandatory or essential part of it please do not miss it we are not accessing this time uh, but still like i'll just uh, show you for the demo and http uh, port 80 will also open uh, on these three let's leave as is but uh, please remember like 3389 just uh, note because we will rdp after some time from uh, from now next is the uh, like licensing we can see if cost if we already have uh, existing license for it currently we don't have that's why i'm not checking this one N next let's select the uh, desk type so here uh, there are variety of desk type premium message this will cost definitely more these are for production uh, but r is not uh, production this is just a basic uh, thing we are doing it so a standard ssd uh, local zone is redundant is uh, fine for us uh, next delete with the vm because if you don't need it it will delete it because storage will also cost right if you don't delete it after uh, the vm gets deleted let's go back to next the networking tab in the networking tab will uh, leave as is because we have already configured this one inbound port this was the essential part i'm not going much into the public pub, uh, private ip because it will confuse you more because this is we are just getting started with the architecture part next the management again will uh, leave as is next is the uh, monitoring tab so we don't need uh, monitoring uh, for now we can uh, disable it and next uh, go to the advanced tab this looks good we don't need any kind of like custom script or boots trapping for now next is the uh, tags we can option additionally add tags like development dev or any kind of values we can give it will help us in uh, building as well so next is the review and uh, create everything looks good so let's uh, proceed with a uh, create let's wait for some time our uh, deployment is in progress so here we can see what's uh, created and uh, what not the, this will blink once it's uh, done this blinking will stop then we know that our uh, virtual machine is now up and running and is uh, con uh, configured and created all right we got the message that the uh, deployment is complete